Do you think you're rich? Here's what Americans say about you being rich. Uh, according to the 2023 Modern uh, Wealth Survey by Charles Schwab, Americans believe it takes $2.2 million to be considered wealthy. But those who feel wealthy today have an average net worth of $560,000. It's pretty interesting. That's a you know, small amount. The survey reveals that 62% of Americans prioritize healthy relationship as a key indicator of wealth, while 70% believe wealth is more about not having to stress over money. Social media impacts wealth perceptions about uh, with 47% of Americans saying being able to afford a lifestyle comparable to their friends makes them feel wealthy. Additionally, 37% compared their lifestyle to what family and friends share on social media, and 34% make purchase decisions based on what they see on social media. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Adam, thoughts? Well, you know how Biggie used to say, mo money, mo problems? Uh, yeah. He had that one wrong. <laughs> uh, let me tell you something. Uh, Kanye, I think, had it uh, said uh, way better. He said, um, having money isn't everything, but not having it is. Um, let me tell you something. When you have money in your life, all the little things, all the little problems, all the little annoyances, oh, flat tire, oh, traffic ticket, Oh, monthly rent, do whatever. None of those issues matter at any point. And then what happens is if you don't do what these other people are doing and basically just keep up with the Joneses and just follow what people uh, are buying on social media or what people are doing, what family and friends and you, you know uh, are doing uh, that you're basically trying to keep up with, you can actually help the ones around you. And I think that's what I, I liked about this relationship is they're pr prioritizing healthy relationships Um in their life to basically help the people around you. And I think that's something that, that you, even you abide by. I see what you do with family, friends, vacations, parties. I think that's what the essence of life is when you have money is empowering the people around you. Like I just took my mom to Israel, cost me a good amount of money to go out and travel. But like, that was great, a great investment in my time. Um, I constantly help out friends that are in need. Remember my buddy that we went to dinner with that one time? Uh, with the, the basketball player at the yard house, his kid's becoming a great basketball player. He's like, listen, I'm running low on funds. Like, I want to take him to uh, travel this summer in basketball camp. Can I get a loan? I'm like, I got you, bro. This is for your kid. So that's what I've found when, since I have money now and I think that, that, that I have like financial freedom, the best return on investment is A, investing in myself, B, helping the people around me, and then lastly, buying things that I think um, – you know, are, are nice and they're fun. But the last point that I'll say is this. You know, they say the comparison is the thief of joy. Um, don't compare yourself to what other people have. What you should do is compare yourself to where you were two years ago, five years ago, 10 years ago, and that should be the barometer for your wealth. Um, it's, it really also comes down to age. So, for instance, if you're 40, don't compare yourself to a 60-year-old. If you're 20, don't compare yourself to a 40-year-old. So, like, look at PBD. Let's, let's use him as an example. Judge yourself on where you were five years ago, ten years ago. Clearly, you've done well. But don't compare yourself to, let's say, Grant Cardone. He's 65 years old. I, I didn't realize how old that guy was. I Googled it the other day. He's, Homie's 65. Now, allegedly, he's worth a half a billion dollars or a billion dollars. Are you saying I shouldn't compare myself to Grant Cardone? Is that what you just said? I'm saying that by the time you're 65... When you're, have you ever heard me talk about Grant Cardone? Zero, ever. Not. I, I'm what bringing a it up. weird uh, I'm comparison just, this guy's The, the reason that I'm <laughs> doing it... I've never heard this before. The reason that I'm doing it is because he's 20 years older than uh, but, you. But that's a very terrible analogy because I've never compared myself to Grant Cardone. I'm not. I'm not saying... I I understand you are. the point you're making. I understand what you're saying here right now, but that was kind of weird for you to say. Uh, uh, I'm just saying. Like I'm just saying he's way older than you, so I you shouldn't totally compare yourself to and a I, Warren and I, Buffett. And I think he's killing it in ways that for him to be in in the physical shape that he is and doing what he's doing. You're making a point about don't compare yourself to other people in different places. Uh, I do believe in having positive peer pressure around you to make you step up and challenge yourself as much as possible. I think you need to be around an environment. Here's what happens with positive peer pressure. In a positive peer pressure, one of two things happens. Unfortunately, I've seen this in the last 20-something years. One, either you cave and you quit and you go to a more safer environment where it doesn't give you the kind of pressure that you're not giving your best. Or you wake up one day and you're like, damn, look who I've turned into. Very impressive who I am today. It's a, it's, a, it's a necessary thing to do to have positive peer pressure 
around you. But the part where I said, I can't believe that's, uh, that's not a lot of money, wasn't the two point two million for me? Was the uh, what do you call it? The five hundred sixty thousand dollars. Yeah. What do you say? It said. It said what about five hundred? It says uh, those who feel wealthy today have an average net worth of five hundred sixty thousand mm-hmm. dollars. Five hundred sixty thousand dollars is not a lot of money today. It's just not a lot of money today. Uh, uh, deep, and also, it has to do with your age, but it's not a lot of money today when you're looking at retirement, closer age, things like that. Hey, if you enjoyed this short clip, you want to watch the whole thing, click over here. But if you want to make 2023 the beginning of the greatest years of your life, I host a conference once a year. It's called the Vault Conference, where 3,000 CEOs, executive entrepreneurs from around the world come together to strategize for three and a half days. This year, it's going to be at Miami Diplomat Resort. And the speakers this year is going to be Tom Brady. He'll be there. I'll be interviewing him. Mike Tyson. Will Gadara, the guy that ran 11 Madison in New York. If you run a business, if you're a CEO, entrepreneur, and executive, this is not an event you want to miss out on. Get yourself, your spouse, your business partner, your running mates registered, and I look forward to seeing you there. Click on the link here or see the link in the description, and I hope to spend three and a half days with you in Miami in August and September. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.